Hey guys, so this is a little experiment that I thought I would do um, on my um, flex drive just to see how it looks on a scope. And what I've done now here to test is um, I have my um, phone uh, signal generator here, which, uh, which I think you can see now. Uh, it is set at 1000 uh, hertz, that is 1 kilohertz, uh, you know, feeding a sine wave into the pedal. Uh, from the pedal is going into the oscilloscope so this is how the chan um, signal looks with um, the pedal off so that's a one kilohertz signal that we have right there i'm going to make it a little smaller so that's how the signal looks with 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 these settings that we that you see uh, the treble cut is uh, in the center so there's no treble cut at the moment and this is the clipping so the the clipping is also in the center that means the signal is going uh, all all the amplification and the clipping is done by the op amp inside this which is a 4580 if i remember correctly and uh, the fat switch i'll just disengage now so that's what it does when you have the op amp selected which is in the center position on the clip clip switch so you can see here that it pretty much slams the signal right there you know it clips it extremely the op amp and uh, this is at full gain and when I I mean ev even at lower volumes you can see that you know it's still doing that and that's why you get a, a lot of fuzz um, when you are playing around with the um, switch in the center position the clip switch now if I reduce the um, gain a bit you can see that it's not doing anything if you look carefully it's just doing nothing to the wave and then just when you reach this 12 o'clock mark is when things start to change a bit and uh, you know this is probably at about one and you can see that you know only until here is when you can get some kind of a smooth distortion without the fuzz with the signal going straight into the op amp and the moment you increase it you see that it just starts slamming right there you know and at full gain it's like it goes all out you know completely slamming the signal right there so that's something which uh, I wanted to show and that's why that's why you get all the fuzz you know um, even even at lower volumes so it just doesn't change if you look at this this just doesn't change at all at lower um, volume settings if you look at the signal now when i engage the treble cut i'll have the treble cut up and then we'll check how it looks in the center and then down so right now it's in the center i'm going to take it up you can see that what it has done is it has cut very slightly the treble so you could you could actually see the waveform change so it's been all wide that means almost all of the top end frequency were was going through and now uh, when i have the switch engaged it cuts a bit in the top position now if i change uh, you know go down on the treble cut let's see what happens now here in the down position it cuts a lot more than it does in the top position as you can see so this is the top position now this is the center position no treble cut and this is the bottom position with a lot of treble cut so um, that's how the treble cut works on this circuit um, now let's look at tone knob does basically so when you have the tone knob all the way up you can see that you know the 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 frequency actually the the wave expands a bit you know letting all the top end go through and uh, when we have the tone now all the way down it doesn't do much between the i mean until about say half way through it doesn't do much and that's when you see the change you can slowly see the change you know so this is how it changes and and post from 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 0 to uh, 12 o'clock it doesn't do much now let's look at the clipping options this is this is something interesting so now i'll the the clip switch is in the center wherein all the signal that you feed in gets amplified by the op amp 
let's go up I can see a huge difference in the in the waveform so it's much smoother but then it still has that um, you know it still goes to that edge and then you know goes back down again and then and then so on so let me just try and magnify that a bit yep yeah. okay so here's the center position where it's slamming it's like you know everything and then here's the top uh, position where you can see that uh, you know the waveform smoothly goes up and then slides back down yeah so let's roll off the gain a bit and here as well you can see that you know doesn't do much to change the waveform uh, until about here oh okay yeah and then and then it changes okay so here's the down position this is the top position this is the bottom position top bottom so here there is a um, there's a there's a steep curve and then it just goes down now here it kind of relax is relaxed and you know just slightly um, goes up and down so that's how um, uh, that's how the flex drive um, looks on the scope my favorite setting on the flex drive is both around about here uh, and uh, with the clipping in the top position no treble cut and I like to keep the tone control somewhere around here that that's what I like um, on the flex drive and I sometimes kind of you know, roll down the gain a bit and uh, that's uh, that's my favorite so hope this was any interesting and it's just a fun thing that I thought I would do thank you for watching